Wanted to talk really quickly about healing and then give you a quick demonstration of an effective way to use luring to create both the energy and the mechanical expression that you want in healing work. One of the reasons luring is so popular to create healing, no matter what sport venue or discipline you're looking in, is because you do have the ability to both capture the energy that you want by teaching the dog to drive up to the lure, as well as, over time, to watch for the expression that the dog takes within it. Holding it at a certain spot, the pretty appropriate spot for our dog, is going to ask them to stretch their neck in a way that teaches them to both drive from the rear and start to lift from the front. And if you sort of play with healing and the luring work in this foundation stage that way, it gives you a better chance to capture, if you were looking for it, a prance or that upward lift. Remember, upwards energy is incompatible with forward energy, so we're gonna save ourselves by paying attention to this early on, some of the problems of foraging that we might have. And it also teaches our dogs how to handle themselves mechanically within the work, which again is driving from the rear and lifting from the front. So I'm just gonna demo this with Elzer. Elzer is beyond this stuff, but just as a way to illustrate this, if he is digging into the hand, and here's my placement, if I'm moving like this, he starts to hop a little bit. Yes, I might not mind that right now because that's him driving from the rear and lifting from the front. And as I reward him for this, it's not out here or it's not back here, which for a dog like him would be better. It's at the place that I want him to recognize the value for this work is. So he's luring, I'm up high, he starts to lift. Yes, I can reward him there for that. I'm also going to try to find a pace that helps him express himself the best based on who he is and what his work is. Yes, I liked that. I liked where his head position was. I liked how his body was moving and I'm watching the front feet as I do this. Yes, I like a little bit of lift there. That's energy up versus forward and that helps me out. So, yes, PZ, I like that, Smeezies. Yes, good. So you'll notice with him, this is just a really quick example, that I'm picking up the pace, which actually helps him sort of lift his paws a little bit, which is what I'm looking for. If I can do the same thing a little bit slow, just teach him to lift up like that, yes, buddy. This is ultimately what I'm looking for. I'm considering where he's at at my side, what his head position looks like, I'm controlling all these things through luring, and that he learns to start to express himself from the front by lifting a bit. So in closing, one of the things I want to point out to people that are new to Liberg.com is our website is so big that when we put new things into the website, it, it kind of disappears into the abyss. And if you're new to Liberg.com, you may not realize that there's over a thousand videos that we've put together over the last 35 years. The vast majority of them are free. I recommend you go there, use a the search function, find the videos that interest you, and see the quality of work that we have to offer for free.